I'm Thomas Harrison. I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Neuroscience here at the University of British Columbia. And my program is under the umbrella of the College for Interdisciplinary Studies. So it's known that different body parts have representations in the brain. There's one part of the brain that's sensitive to touch of the hand, and then next to that there's another map that's um, controlling movement of the hand. And we wanted to know what happens if one of these areas is destroyed. If you lose sensation in the hand, can the part of your brain that was previously controlling movement take over the function of sensation as well and do double duty? And I'm interested in knowing how good the brain is at doing this after an injury, how well it can use its own plasticity to adapt and uh, compensate for the loss of one part of the brain. I, I always knew that I wanted to study neuroscience, and UBC probably has the best neuroscience program in Canada. Just great facilities, really strong faculty, and so it seemed like a natural fit for me. Yeah, I, I get along really well with uh, Tim Murphy, my boss. Um, he spends the vast majority of his time in the lab, and he, he's always around to help when problems come up. You know, it's good to be uh, accessible for the, the student, um, you know, to make sure if, if there's a problem that we, we can correct it or figure out, uh, you know, why something, is, why we're getting a particular result. Well, we have transgenic mutant mice, and they have in all of the neurons in their brain a protein from a green algae that's sensitive to light. So traditionally, the brain is stimulated using electricity. That's the currency of neurons. But in these mutant mice, we can actually shine a laser beam at the brain. And wherever that laser beam hits, the neurons will become excited. So we now can not only use light to visualize the circuitry of the brain, but also to control the circuitry. And that's where my um, student, uh, Tom Harrison, he works in this area. So, so we have the ability to uh, watch the brain circuitry. We have the ability to actually intervene and try to jump start or um, try to promote recovery through stimulating it with light or to just understand what circuits are actually involved in the recovery process. So we hope someday to learn things in, in the mouse and then somehow translate them to other researchers working in humans and to uh, make the recovery of a stroke patient better. Um, we developed this new method for mapping the brain and Dr. Murphy initially wanted to go after a patent for this and he was kind enough to include myself and another grad student in that patent application and so we went to the university industry liaison office and met with the people there and I thought that their job just seemed so interesting meeting new people every day finding out about the latest ideas coming out of the university and then trying to think of ways that that could be developed into a business to get that technology out into the real world. Um, so we'll do another one for free. Okay, so yeah, I'm Tom Harrison. I'm a grad student at the University of BC. I study the motor cortex, and in my spare time, I like knitting. Do you really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... No.